Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Game of Potions FPS Test World and this is a map which I created recently so that all of us can actually have a baseline to test our FPS inside the game. Minecraft Java Edition does not actually have any benchmarking tools within the video options so by using this method we can all use the same process and see how we compare with each other and with different mods and resource packs and see what kind of FPS we are getting inside our game. You can go ahead and download this FPS testing world right now from the Curse Forge website. I will leave a link in the description of how you can do that. After you have downloaded the world, it's really simple. You just have to extract the folder from the zip file into your saves folder. If you guys are using a Curse Forge client, you just have to search for a game of potion FPS test and you should be able to download the world and it should install automatically. I will leave a link in the description of how to actually set up the whole process and get this installed. Once you do enter the world, it should automatically place you in the correct position. If you do lose your position, it's really simple. Just go into third person view and stand on this crimson block there and then go back into first person view and point your crosshair at the crimson block in the distance over there. Make sure that you guys are using a FPS counter such as Fraps or MSI Afterburner. As you guys can see in the top left corner, I do have MSI Afterburner running there and it is showing me my FPS. I would not recommend that you guys actually use the F3 button to check your FPS because it does give you a lower FPS inside your game. So as you guys can see I am getting 1200 FPS there on average. If I was to press the F3 button on my keyboard, if you have a look at the FPS I am getting now, it's much lower. It's showing my FPS as 600 and something on the top left corner there, which is completely false because it is actually loading all this extra information. So it's not giving me my true FPS value. So let me get rid of the F3 button there and let me bring back the MSI afterburner FPS counter. And as you guys can see, it is showing me the true value there. If I was to use Fraps, it would be the same thing. It would show the higher figure there, but the F3 console information would not be that correct. Okay, so the way the FPS test works, what you need to do is actually go into your options and make sure that your FOV is set to normal. If you guys have set your FOV to a lower amount or a higher amount, I would recommend you actually set this to the normal value, which is 70. Then you need to go into your video settings and you need to make sure that everything is turned to the maximum. So for the biome blend, you need to take the slider, move it across to 15 by 15, move the render distance all the way to 32 chunks. Same thing for the simulation distance. And in the graphic section, make sure that is set to fancy. Scroll down, make sure everything else is set to the maximum value. Make sure that your clouds are also set to fancy. Brightness is set to bright. Particles are set to all. Entity shadows also set to on as well. Mip map levels to the maximum, which is number four. Distortion effects 100%. Entity distance needs to be to the maximum as well, which is 500%. And then the FOV effects at 100%. The auto save indicator does not actually matter, so we can leave that to turned off or on, it's up to you. Once you have actually put everything to the maximum value in the video settings, then click on done and now you can actually open up your FPS counter and have a look at what kind of FPS you are getting inside your game. As you guys can see, my FPS has actually dropped now and I am getting close to 90 FPS and you can actually see the graph there going up and down because I have actually set everything to the maximum. It also would take a few seconds to load all of the chunks. So just give it a few seconds and then you would be able to see how much FPS you guys are getting in your game. Once you have got a figure of your FPS value using this world, do make a note of it and then you can apply the same process by using a performance mod like Sodium or Optifine and see how they compare in boosting your FPS. You can also use other mods as well and test them out against your vanilla base FPS and see how much of an FPS boost you would get in your game by using some of the other mods or resource packs or mod packs. Also make sure to post your results at the bottom there in the comment section and let us know what kind of FPS you guys are getting with the vanilla game with everything set to the maximum and what kind of FPS you are getting with performance mods like Sodium, Optifine or even other performance mods, Starlight, Phosphor, Lithium, Ferrite Core or Hydrogen. And there are other 
performance mods out there so do make sure to test all of them out on your system but obviously do you get the base fps figure by going into the vanilla game and using the maximum settings which i just showed you how to do and writing down your max fps that you are able to see make sure that you guys are using an external fps counter such as fraps or msi afterburner if you guys have found this video useful please do give us a like and obviously do leave a comment below with your fps results there and also let us know what kind of computer specs you are running what cpu are you running with your graphics card your ram and whether you've been store the game on an SSD or a normal hard drive. If you have any further questions or queries about the FPS test world then do leave them in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.